Let us pray, the angelus. Let us stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Our fort, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the radiance of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, Enrich me poverty and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the, sac the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbers among his members. Loving Father, as on your earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Let's all stand. Huwag ng Panginoon, humayan ngayon'y nakitipon upang pagsaluhan ang kalitasan ang loob ng iyo sa tangan upang pagsaluhan ang kalitasan ang loob ng iyo sa tangan In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, fault through, through my fault, fault through, through my, my most, most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Peace. Mm -hmm. 
God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Blessed is he who perseveres in temptation, for when he has been proven, he will receive the crown of life that he promised to those who love him. No one experiencing temptation would say, I am being tempted by God. For God is not subject to temptation to evil, and he himself tempts no one. Rather, each person is tempted when lured and enticed by his desire. Then desire conceives and brings forth sin. And when sin reaches maturity, it gives birth to death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers and sisters. All good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by chains. He will to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. Bless the man whom you instruct, O Lord, whom by your law you teach, giving him rest from evil days. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. When I say, my foot is slipping, your mercy, O Lord, sustains me. When cares abound within me, your comfort gladdens my soul. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. Please all stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. We can in mo po on na kigini da po sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, Watch out, guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. 
they concluded among themselves that it was because they had no bread. When he became aware of this, he said to them, Why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? Do you not understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, and ears and not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many weaker baskets full of fragments you pick up? They answered him, Twelve. When I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, Seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Nung ako ay nasa elementarya at maging sa high school, ay lagi akong nire-remind ng aking ina na piliin yung magiging mga kaibigan ko at piliin yung barkada. Kasi sasabihin niya, may mga barkada na bad influence. Nayayain ka papunta sa bisyo, yayain ka mag-cut class, yayain ka nilang mag-absent, at pupunta na lang sa kahit saan, o di kayo mag na lang, instead na papasok sa klase. Beware sa mga barkada, o di kaya sa mga kaibigan na bad influence. Yun yung lagi niyang bilin. Mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, parang ganito din ang pangyayari sa ating Ibanghelyo. Jesus is giving warning sa kanyang mga disipulo na beware to the leaven of the Pharisees and beware to the leaven of Herod. Pero hindi pa magets ng mga disipulo kung anong ibig sabihin ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Hindi nila magets that Jesus is asking His disciples na... Beware sa mga evil doings, sa mga evil influences ng mga Pharisees at evil influences ni Heron na huwag maging hypocrite, na maging magpakatotoo lagi sa mga sarili na kung ano yung mga sinasalita natin na kagandahang loob, ayun din dapat yung gagawin natin sa ating gawa. Kung ano man yung iniisip nating kabutihan, kung ano naman ay yung gilaman ng ating puso, laman ng ating esipan at maging ng ating kaluluwang kabutihan, ayun lamang ang ating gagawin, yun lamang ang ating isipin at yun lamang yung ating isasalita na makakatulong sa ating kapwa-tao. At hindi ito mar maramdaman at hindi ito maunawaan ng mga apostol na, ibig, na para bang sa isip-isip nila dahil ba kulang ang ating baon Dahil ba iisa lang yung ating tinapay, ganito yung sinasabi niya? But then Jesus said, bakit ganito ang inyong pag-iisip? Kahit pa iisang bread ang ating baon, hindi nyo ba maalala na pinakain natin ang 4,000 out of 5 loaves? Na pinakain natin ang 5,000 out of 7 loaves? Jesus is simply telling us in the gospel, my dear friends, na kahit pa sa mga moments sa inconvenient, sa mga moments na natutok sa tayo, piliin natin pa rin magpakapait. Piliin natin ang kabutihan. Piliin natin ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. In this Mass, therefore, my dear friends, as we continue to pray for ourselves, ipagdasal natin na nawa ang Panginoon, buksan niya ang ating puso at isipan. At nang sagayon sa lahat ng oras, ay pipiliin natin ang kabutihan. Pipiliin natin ang kaliwalagan. Pipiliin natin ang katotohanan. At pipiliin natin ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Please all stand. Coming together as God's people, we bring our names before the Father. 
confident that he will grant our request, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives in preaching the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give our best to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory, we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as you doubt and we acclaim. Lord, O oh, Sana, 
Sana, o sana in Christ. Please. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Us, 
and lead us up into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from all Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Blood has Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please kneel for your prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Then, no dearest Mother, shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>